serving the community through fitness. That's the mission of one Milwaukee woman who followed her passion to open a business that's become a valuable resource for her community. Taj Mahal introduces us to Spin MKE. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to start. With energy, motion, and music. These folks are spinning towards their fitness goals. Spin MKE is an indoor cycling gym offering a unique workout for anyone who loves to get moving. Seven different instructors, so you're going to get various of styles. Here comes that push. Shakia Curtis is the owner and an instructor at Spin MKE. Fitness has always been a part of my life, just to kind of ease all of the anxiety, the stress. Let's rise. No. Right now, I have three non-negotiables in life, and that is coffee, prayer and devotion, and fitness. And so no one has access to me until those three things happen every day. And, and that's how I made fitness a lifestyle. After years of traveling and visiting indoor cycling gyms in other cities, she couldn't find an indoor cycling experience in her hometown that played hip hop music or made her feel at home. And I'm like, why don't I have something like that at home? And I wanted it. As a Milwaukee native, she felt it was important to bring this unique style of fitness right into her community. And there's nothing like it in the area. There is no fitness opportunities. The closest is, is a drive away. And so a lot of those barriers come from accessibility. Curtis is the first black woman to own a luxury indoor cycling studio in Milwaukee. That all of these additives are a luxury. So you can be with community, but also understand what wellness looks like because it looks different for everyone. It's tough. And it's what I need. I am on my road to 40, and I don't want to look it. Folks like Crystal Rogers say Spin MKE was just what this community needed. Ten seconds, let's go. It nourishes the community. The community was starved for this. Um, this is something that is feeding us because it's giving us what we need, what we want, feeding our wellness overall. I come here because I love to spin. I have a bike at home, and spinning is really good for your soul. Everybody here is like family because we get to come, we get to talk about our week, we get to express our love for each other, and we get to all work out together, sweat together, and motivate each other uh, to heal our bodies and to stay, you know, in, in shape. David Breedy says he's thankful for everything that's been created here. The thing I think a lot of people don't see uh, that don't do this is the mental residuals you get from coming here to let the stress out from the week, to not have to think about work or what happened yesterday or what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen next week. To just be here present in this moment, pushing together with this group and with Kia, it's amazing. Hold it at the top. Let's go. Curtis says she holds much pride in owning a business in the city she was born and raised in. Born and raised, MKE girl, through and through. I grew up in Westline Projects, um, never knowing they were the projects, just because my mother and my grandmother were who they were. Um, actually was a teen mom, and so I kind of learned life quickly. Um, left at 17 uh, to go to an HBCU college, right? Um, although a teen mom, I was blessed to have people that wouldn't let me settle. She kept reaching for her goals of success and is still making strides today. I currently uh, just did my doctorate degree, so I'm officially Dr. Curtis. So, And she hopes her story inspires others to follow their dreams and put their health and wellness first as she continues to cultivate culture in the community. I was meant to be a statistic. I come from a single family household. <clears throat> and to understand the limitations that are put on people of color, um, is because there is not enough exposure or opportunities. And so when you see me and you see the things that I'm doing, it's always to create that opportunities to create exposure. Push it through.
I don't have any plans to slow down because my goal is to continue for little girls that look like me to create those opportunities of exposure. Thank you.